Some people were completely oblivious to the fact that you can summon NPCs in Bloodborne like in Dark Souls, hence why I'm doing this video. But the reason I didn't bring it up as anything special is because, well, it's not anything special. There's a reason there's only three NPC summon locations, and they exist only in the early locations of the game. One, this is as a means to assist you if you're playing offline, and two, the NPCs glitch really easily. Sometimes they get caught up on the environment, and other times they disappear completely. When you think they are following along behind you, and you turn around to check to see if they're still there, they aren't anywhere to be found. This is mainly referring to Gascone. Watch and I'll show you just where the two summon points are for him. Here's the first one. And I must say, it is pretty disappointing that there are only three NPC summon points in this entire game. And here's the second one, both summon Gascone. Keep in mind, he won't help you fight himself. That would be ridiculous. He's there to help you with the Cleric Beast, and only really offers a good distraction. He doesn't do much damage, and he may even die before the battle is over. The third NPC location is in Old Yarnum, right before the Blood Starved Beast, and summons an Alfred. You'll have to choose to cooperate with him in his questline first, otherwise he won't cooperate with you, obviously. Again, while cool having Alfred fight alongside you, he only offers as a distraction and doesn't do much damage. Although he can stagger the beast, which is helpful. So there you have it. There's three summon locations as far as I know. You can only summon Gascone and Alfred and they really only make good distractions. Would be nice if you can summon an Eileen for a boss somewhere, huh? Please subscribe as I have plenty more Bloodborne videos to offer you and watch my prior videos as they are awesomely entertaining, as I've been told.